All right, guys, I am very excited to share with you the new best build for Akali, the new strategy that all Koreans are doing in Challenger, all the pros are doing for the most part in that on that Chinese super server if they're not playing the fleet forward build. But guys, Teleport Ignite is apparently the future. It, is, it just is. Um, and not just that, there's a few other changes to the Conqueror build that I want to talk about that are also going to be the best for solo queue. Uh, and the main one specific is the fact that, I, and I haven't mentioned this in a video yet, so it's my apologies, but, um, oh, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage really quick, don't mind me. But, um, guys, Akali's E, ever since it changed from physical to magic damage a few patches ago, Sun Impact isn't that good anymore. Compared to Taste uh, of Blood, it's simply not as good as it used to be, because that hybrid pen was really split between, you know, all your spells. Now it's literally just your R1 that does physical damage, so... Uh, it definitely tastes of blood, and I'm just going to show you the rune page right now. Uh, we're running Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Coup de Gras, and then we got Ravenous Hunter for that juicy late game healing, and then we got Taste of Blood, so you never lose the lane, because honestly, even if they're ranged, you can pretty much just find yourself like throwing spells and like healing up like that. I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm just going to do some free damage. Um, pretty much nothing she can do about that. And now that we are of equal standing, aka level, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do some kind of damage. Obviously, this is brutal. We're getting auto attacked to death. No, I'm just kidding. It's completely fine. Uh, we, there was a little fight early game, so I don't have my ignite yet for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a bunch of damage here. Auto. You know what? She did not see that damage coming. That's for sure. That's for sure. And we're playing in a pretty high elo as well. Um, but you know what? Let's just go ahead. I don't have it. I feel like I've said, but you know what? Let's just, uh, I've said it too many times. All right. But you know, anyways, anyhow, uh, it is what it is. So guys, I want to talk about this new freaking TP Ignite strategy. People are running it on Katarina and Akali. Um, and it's actually pretty simple why. Uh, it's just the matter of fact is you can't make flash plays where you like flash and then ult behind them and then get an easy one shot up. But what you can do is you can turn around ganks, you can get stupid, stupid fed um, very, very easily off of double kills. You can turn 3v4s into 4v4s. You can get back to lane faster if you die early. It's a safeguard, safety tool, like just like how they added home guards uh, pre-20. Oh, if you die, it's just like that, but better. There's a lot of reasons why uh, TP is very, very valuable on a champion that has all these dashes and can survive uh, Akali doesn't need freaking uh, flash to survive ganks, which is half of the value for laning anyways. You know, the other half would be making flash aggressive plays. So it's just like, I don't know how to explain the insane power of TP. I've been practicing it for a little bit now, and I literally last game I got a double kill at level 6. Like, right off the bat level 6, it was freaking awesome. And I'm about to take... Oh, nice for Q missed. I'm about to say... If, if I hit that Q, or if she hit that last Q on the way out, I would have freaking died or something. Uh, but you can still try. We can get her flash out of the way. Also, I don't know why he's not going around. I think... I mean, it worked out, but going through the river is very questionable. Because he could literally just, like, went around and, like, got a better angle to flank. Uh, anyways, I, I hear Cassiopeia be calling somehow. Must be hacking. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just push this really quick. We are gonna hit six, and then we can look for something. Wait, what? Oh, and we got freaking Shaklon NA up in here. I kind of want to clear this just for gold. A little ten gold never hurt anyone. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. I wonder if I can try and see where he's gonna be. This is up. He's gonna queue over so close. Is he going wolves, actually, though? And Lucian, what the heck is going on here? I don't even know what's happening. Uh, Alright, Lucian's here now, so that's cool. I think I'm going to try and bait him into playing aggro on me. If he dashes, I think I'm just going to ult him. And he's not playing aggro. Well, very interesting. One death is enough for a lane swap, apparently. Um. Okay. Yeah, surely they're gonna swap back, uh, or Lucian's just gonna come. Yeah, actually, Lucian's gonna come back to mid. 
So I guess that's where we're laying it. I've been seeing so many Lucian mid lately, it's been pretty ridiculous. I feel like every other game has Lucian mid. It's like not even that good, in my opinion. But anyways, especially for solo queue and assassins and snowball champions just reign supreme. But you know, it's it's always a free lane because it's so safe. Anyways, that's the, the, we're not here to talk about Lucian. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this. The build is similar for sure. Um, you still want to go for that gun blade. Um, people always ask two things: why don't you get refillable? Well, you get more healing and the early first, you know, first part of the laning phase with three potions instead, um, and Bilgewater revolver first. I like Bilgewater, but you just gotta spend as much gold as possible. So the main thing is to just get the damage. And we're gonna get this right. Yeah. Hate to W, just for minions, but I ain't missing minions. Anyways, we do not have... Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> that was very AIDS. Um, I'm really worried about Shaco coming here, but okay. Dude, what? Holy shit. I'm gonna run to the second tower because there is a very reasonable chance that he just queues over a wall. There's no way he, that he does this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna leave it, actually. I was considering TPing back to lane, but it's not the way. All right, and we're gonna wait here in the middle where you heal more, and then once this is about to... You know, I'm just gonna go throw this, then fly back in. All right. That was kind of ridiculous. So apparently Lucian does ridiculous damage to squishy champions that have no armor. Oh, I didn't have armor, so that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's like this guy knows where every ward we have is. He's sweeping and sweeping and clearing. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, that same thing can happen again since I literally don't have ult. I tried to snipe that a little bit. I'm just gonna let him take the plate. Actually, no, I'm not. I do a bunch of damage to him, actually. That sounds like more fun. And we do have. Oh, wow. It, he does some shit. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Uh, Shaco can dive. Oh, man. This is sketchy. We're fine. It's just he can dive and then drop aggro whenever he wants with his R. So it's just like a very bad situation for us. All right, you know what? He flashed. That's freaking worth. I'm gonna say worth on that. Uh, I'll take that as well. I am very realistically gonna die here. I'm gonna turn my back here and then recall because I don't want to get backstabbed by Shaco uh, outside of uh, my tower's invisibility range. Like the invisibility detection range. And then we're gonna go ahead and just head right back into this. But yeah, guys, um, build is gonna be for this game. We're going for a, a gun blade. Um, AP Shaco, I think. I don't know what. We'll have to see. But I think we're just gonna go for a standard build here. And I am going to. If TP wasn't 5 seconds, or if I had tier 2 boots or something, I would TP top right now. Not exactly sure if I could catch up, being that I haven't used TP too much. But I know you get a big movement speed buff. I don't think we need to help out with that one. I'm going to rotate and then bait it out. He's probably going to check. No, he's not. Okay. Shaco's alive, right? He never killed him. I, I don't think so, so this is very sketchy. I'm, I feel like he's just going to die. Also, this guy needs to run. I think Lucian's over there. Uh, but yeah, I should mention we are playing with the nerfs. I kind of want to just go in on him. Not happening. Not happening. Let's look for something else that's more realistic. I'm going to see if there's a ward in this brush first. And this one. Nope. Okay, next time we're going to be able to... Oh, going on. 
I have nothing to TP to that I want. It's be, it would be just as fast for me to run here. Sadly. Um, well, that is a a big ol' waste of time, but whatever, okay, okay, whatever, we have enough for a goblet anyways. I'm gonna push this actually and go for a plate. If Jin didn't recall, but she did, his, uh, if I knew his ult was down, I'd just go in on him. All dead. Okay, yeah, we, we can kill him, we can kill him. This guy doesn't do any damage, what the heck? I thought Shaco was supposed to do damage. I was thinking like, what happens if I jump in there? Morgana doesn't have black shield for me or she's too far away. I'm pretty sure Alistar just presses Q or W's me out and then I die to tower. Uh, either way, we have a Gunblade, so I think we win. Oh man, he died, okay. So here's the problem, is sometimes there's no wards to go to, like this guy never warded his own lane or it's dead or, like right now we need a ward, uh, ward deep, I have TP. So we're not going to get any kills there. Just kidding, we got a kill. That TP movement speed's pretty nice. How is that even up though? That's my question. That is my question. How did you kill? This fed Malphite. I know he's got armor, but he's still got health. Without even... Oh, huh. Okay, um, yeah, we're, completely, we're fine to farm here. No one's coming. And, uh, you know what? I was going to say plates are still available. Not so much. Cool. That Q nerf is hitting us hard. We have to Q this twice now. Kind of brutal, but, I mean, we just get, like, an, an Amp Tome or a Dark Seal, and it's fine. It, it's just another 400 gold. But um, yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to be building either way. Like, we want to get Zonius here. They have double AD. They have double AP too, but um, we'll see what we get uh, as the game goes on and see who gets fed. And then we'll decide what we build from there. And kill her. I think she runs me down there. If she, if she realized my cooldowns, I think... Uh, I think she would have killed me right there, but that did not happen. So let's go ahead and hmm. An enemy has been let's do this. My <laughs> I've only warded twice or something. I don't know. Okay, my vision score of two is uh very questionable. I think they should probably just give. Uh, they should let you have a biscuit instead. I don't. I don't like wards. That'd be pretty nice. Just, just let me have a biscuit. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Alright. I don't like taking a bunch of free damage, so I'm just gonna do this instead. And I do like KSing, so I am gonna do that. Alright, 503 CS is pretty terrible. Nice, but that makes it a little bit less terrible. Ignite's coming up. didn't bounce in my direction and yeah now we're able to you know a little bit more AP we're able to clear the wave out I want to go for dives and just I mean we're pretty far ahead I'll have some fun with him huh I don't agree with that kill I like I, I'm happy about it but I literally was I was I wasn't even on top of him I ulted the other way he flash. Why does his flash go off if he's just gonna die? See, that's just poor coding.
It's completely just poor coding. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Not exactly sure why he wanted to donate that to me, but that was very kind of him. Oh, well. That guy was literally A clicking. Damn it, that's really smart. Because he had maybe like. Uh, he had like a half a second to auto me, but if he A clicks non stop, hey, she's just gonna attack the closest thing. Um, nice, really well played by him. Zonia's, just Zonia's things. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I don't have TP, damn it. See, this would be perfect. Look at this, this is a free, this is like a free triple kill. Ah, oh, disgusting. All right, I'm selling this. Boards are for noobs, honestly. Also, I should mention really quick before we triple kill them, you guys like my little, I don't think you can tell, but I, uh, I rolled over my glasses in bed and I like broke one of the arms or whatever, the legs, I don't know what they're called. So I had to like, use duct tape, it was, it was a good time. Anyways, I want to like, I want to force something really badly. I'm a little bit sad about that TP not not being up. I think this guy's on this. That's not the real one. <laughs> okay. Wait, what if I can I teleport to this guy? That was a bad idea. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun though. Oh, he's too tanky. What do I do? It's a sketch. It worked. It actually worked. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna heal up a little bit. If I can, don't quit it. Good stuff. Uh oh. Can't believe he just took the inhib. That is such a crazy push. Then he just took like every turret mid lane plus the inhib. Alright, well. It's funny how sometimes it works out like that. One person dies at a time and you just keep on going, especially with Rift Herald. I got TP now, so that's cool. Drop this. Alright, and now the decision is how far are we taking this new best build? Um, I could display to you guys that a lot of them uh, Koreans take Lyandries, uh, and the Chinese players too. Just everyone in general, like the pros are taking it. But the thing is, that's better when they have a bunch of tanks. They don't even have a tank, they have one support. I guess that's one person. If I was playing against like a Hecarim Malphite like they are, then I would go for it because that's two people with uh, a bunch of health and whatnot. But I think in their situation, I think in their situation, I should just go Oblivion Orb because it gives you a bunch of magic pen and just really good damage. And then we'll take it from there. Maybe go Rabidons because they don't have MR, we don't need Void Staff. I, I like the poly. It's a lot of different build options, but with that comes like a lot of decision making instead of just like the same exact build, you know, after the first two or three items. Okay. And that one's not happening. Well, we have a pretty commanding lead, which is cool. And that 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 person's dead. Okay. I don't even know when we took over this game, but maybe the whole time. I'm down to try... 
I want to kind of just like ward deep into their into their base and just flank whoever shows up. Yeah, that's broken. I think that's a pretty good way. If they surrendered at that point, I'd be pretty happy. I think that was pretty cool. I literally killed him in the middle of his ult. I mean, that's the best part. That's the best time to kill him because he loses the cooldown. And that satisfaction. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. Alright, well, this game was not that close, to be honest. But, guys, I recommend, I truly do, I recommend you try this TP Ignite build because every freaking good player is doing it. And you know what that means. If the good players are doing it, you gotta copy it. Yeah, we're dead. We're all dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that hit. Okay. Yep. Oh, again. I do believe that, that is the game of over. This is rude. I got nothing. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. I can heal though. I'm just gonna press Q and you know get a free 200 health. God. What a fun concept, Spellvamp. It's just sometimes it's just way too good. Sometimes it's just like literally useless. But most of the time it's just way too good. Anyways guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I literally can't see with one of my eyes. That's why I have to use my glasses. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, have a good one. Peace out.